If you're a small creator who doesn't have a following for your webcomic yet, one of the most underrated but possibly the most important things you can do for your webcomic is come up with a good name. Hi, it's Sim Cray. And if you're new here, welcome! I am the creator of the webcomic series, Not Another Cliché, available to read for free on Tapas. Links are in the description below. Now, obviously you can name your webcomic whatever you want, and you do not have to follow my advice. As this is just my personal approach based on my own personal experiences making webcomics. And as someone who first started their webcomic with pretty much no following to now, here are my own tips for naming your webcomic. Now, my number one rule is don't copy other creators' webcomic names. For example, I wouldn't name my webcomic Lore Olympist or anything similar, even if my story was also about Greek gods, since there is already a webcomic with that name that is already super popular and has been going for a long time already. Not only is it just kind of inconsiderate for the person who was already using that name for their webcomic first, but when it comes to searchability, your webcomic is going to be super hard to find because you're going to be buried under the content of the more popular comic from day one. So you'll be fighting algorithms just to be seen on search engines on a daily basis because, again, you're now having to compete with that other webcomic which is already more popular and has way more episodes than you. Keep your webcomic name short, snappy, and easy to spell. Why? Well, easy to spell means easy to remember. And keep in mind that a portion of your potential readers may be googling your webcomic by name or typing it into the site's search bar. So you want to make it as easy as possible for your readers to type your webcomic name. Personally, I try to stick between two to four words that are simple to spell. Now you might be under the impression that having a single word for your webcomic title would be better, but from my experience, single word titles tend to be the most overpopulated, making it that much more difficult to find yours. The only exception where I would have a one word title is, is if it's a word you've made up or a unique name for the main character. Think Naruto. Single word titles like Darkness, Inhuman, Starlight, and basically anything that sounds remotely edgy. And you might think that that's a good thing until there are 20 other people with the same exact name as yours and 30 more with other variations because most readers tend to just click on the first few searches that come up and don't really scroll through every single page, especially if there's quite a few of them. Make sure the name has something to do with your story. I've mentioned this before in past videos, but what you want to avoid doing is being misleading with the title. For most of your readers, your cover and title are going to be their first impression of your webcomic, and most people want to know what they're getting into before they invest their time in a story. So try to make your name a good representation of what your story is about. Like, I probably wouldn't name a romance webcomic The Pumpkin Killer if it's not about a killer that's dressed as a pumpkin or something, since that's more likely to draw in an audience that like horror rather than romance. And I think it's important to keep in mind the audience you're trying to attract, and think about what kind of story they would be clicking on. If you don't want to give too much away through the title, that's fine, a vague title can still work as long as you make the genre of your webcomic a bit more obvious, and that's where the artwork will play a big role. It's kind of about balancing things out. Too much secrecy and people might not be bothered to check out your work, and if you're too bait about it, then people might just get bored too quickly because they can pretty much just guess the whole story. <laughs> you want to be somewhere in the middle. Google your title name before you use it. When I was first deciding on a title name, I would type the name I wanted to use on Google, Tapas, and Webtoons, and what I was hoping for was a pretty empty result when it came to webcomics. At a time when I was planning Not Another Cliché, there surprisingly wasn't any other comics by the same name, and part of the reason why I chose Not Another Cliché for the title for my webcomic was that it's somewhat easy to remember, as it's a phrase, and it's not too long. It fits the story perfectly, plus it's not overly bait, like it's it's not immediately telling you what the story is. There's still a bit of mystery in the title where readers will wonder, well, what is this cliche you're talking about? And will hopefully read to find out. The unique selling point of my story is that it's a group of black kids doing cool shit in a fantasy world, which still isn't something that is common to see. Which is why when I came up with the name, not another cliche, I was like, 
This fits so well! This is perfect! Amazing! I love this! But an example of a bad title for my webcomic would have been my second and third choices that were Not Another Fantasy and Not Another Isekai. Now I'm not saying these are terrible title names in general because I do think under the right circumstances they probably could work, but for my story in particular, they are a little dull and a little too on a nose for my liking. And in my opinion, although Not Another Cliché is heavily inspired by isekai and fantasy, those two concepts aren't what make the story unique. It's my characters. Avoid trying to use anything that is associated with Marvel or DC, because you will have a bad time. Most of Marvel and DC stuff is copyrighted, so like, just don't go there. Don't name your character the Batman, it's not worth it. And lastly, make a design for your title. There will come a time when you have to post just the title of your webcomic somewhere or make advertisements and promotions for your webcomic, so a good design for your title will come in handy since it'll be more recognisable to your readers. It's kind of like an extra character. But make sure that the font is easy to read. Personally, I try to have a good amount of spacing between the letters and avoid cursive fonts that don't define the letters very well. Because, little secret, you actually want people to be able to read the title of your webcomic, no matter what size it's at. On Tapas, they allow the full cover to be shown, which I personally prefer because you can actually make your cover and banner stand out. Whereas Webtoons only really gives you a small little square, so yeah. I think it's a bit more difficult to stand out on there, but I'm gonna level with you, I I don't really know that much about webtoons. Back when I was first making webcomics, webtoon canvas didn't exist, so there was no way for me to actually upload my work on there, so I basically just ignored that site and stuck to Tapas until a friend told me about webtoon canvas much later on. Now I just want to be clear that these tips only work if your webcomic, for lack of a better word, is interesting, and you're able to promote it. If your characters aren't appealing and your story is confusing, there isn't any amount of tips that will help you grow a following for your webcomic. And I say that as someone whose first two webcomics were kinda shit. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got for this video today. And like with all of my videos, everything I've said here is only meant to be taken as advice. You can take and leave whatever you want as long as it works for you. This just so happens to be what worked for me, and I hope it's useful to you in some way too. If you'd like to follow me, all my social links are in the description. Links to my webcomic, Not Another Cliché, will also be in the description below. Okay, thanks, bye.